Hello everyone and welcome to this course. In the previous section, we learned how to define uh, basic um, variables, how to perform some mathematical operations, how to do some precedence, which is you know kind of a very important foundation if you're going to start learning programming. In this section, we're going to dig a little bit deeper into more uh, kind of intermediate concepts per se. So we're going to cover what we call it the comparison uh, operations. So we're going to cover the comparison operators. We're going to cover what we call it logical operators. And we're going to cover conditional statements, which is what we call it if else statements. All right. Okay. I'm super excited because this section will going to be uh, kind of the first step to actually start building kind of professional uh, real world uh, codes in Python. So let's go ahead and define the, what do you mean by comparison operators? Okay. So when we perform any programming in general, what we need to do is that we wanted to compare two values with each other. Okay. So in order to compare two values, all right, let's say I have two values, for example, or two, two parameters, let's say A and B, for instance, and I wanted to compare these two parameters together. How can I do that comparison? Let's see. So let's assume that I wanted, for example, to compare number 15 compared to, let's say, number 8. So here I have number 15, and I wanted to compare it to number 8. And I wanted to say, for example, if 15 is greater than 8. So in order to write greater or less than, we use basically these kind of um, operators to do this. So let's go ahead and run this cell, and let's see what's going to happen. So if we run this cell, you're going to get a feedback, or you know Python going to reply back, telling you actually that was true. Yes, why? Because you are asking kind of, you know, Python, okay, is 15 greater than 8? Okay, so the answer is true. That's right. That means you actually have done comparison between the um, value 15 and between the number 8. All right, okay. Let's take a look at another example. Let's assume that I wanted to compare, for example, 5 equals greater than, for example, or equals to 5. Just very simple, um, again, example. If we run that, that would tell me, yes, that's actually true. Why? Because I said, I asked Python again, is 5 greater than or equal 5? Yes, actually 5 was equals to 5. So again, Python replied back and tell you, well, that was true. Okay? And you can actually check pretty much all the operations in here. So the first operation that's, you know, kind of most important one we're going to be using extensively in the practical part of the course is what we call it equal equal. Okay? So simply, you're comparing two values. Okay? And you are saying if A equals to equals B or if A equals B, all right, if it's true, if that's true, then Python gonna reply back to you, tell you yes, that was true. If not, it will reply back, tell you it was false. Let's take a look. So let's say I'm asking is five equals equals to five? And let's run it. Shift enter. That will tell me what well, that was true, right? So I'm asking is five equals equals, let's say six. If I run it, that will tell me, no, that was false. That wasn't right, okay? So the, the, the key important element here is why we don't just use one equal? Why didn't it say, for example, 5 equals to 6? If I do this, that will tell me, no, that, well, that's not right. Because one equal sign is what we call it assignment. That means you're assigning value. You are copying value from the right-hand side into the left-hand side. So if I say, let's say, x equals to 6, yes, that would work. That means I'm putting 6 into the parameter x. If I take a look at x, you'll find that x contains 6, which makes sense, right? All right. Okay. So in order to perform conditional, kind of perform a conditional comparison, we use equal equal. If you wanted to do an assignment, which is, you know, putting value in a specific variable, we use just one single equal. All right. So what we could do as well is that we can actually perform comparisons on strings as well. So let's take a look. Let's assume that I wanted, for example, to compare hello, okay, is hello equals equals to hello. All right, let's run that. Now tell me, well, that was true. Okay, let's do it again. Let's say, okay, is hello equals equals to hello, okay? So please notice the difference here. So the difference here was one of them was total, all of them were uppercase. And here, the first letter only was uppercase and all of them were lowercase. If we run that, you will find that the answer is false, which means when we try to perform any comparisons um, 
on strings, we have to make sure that all the letters are actually the same. If all of them are uppercase, then all of them here has to uppercase in order to get a true answer, okay? All right, one more operator, uh, which is what we call it not equal, okay? So for example, if you're comparing, let's say the value of six and your value of five, and you wanted to compare five and six, what we do is that we use the simply the exclamation mark equal. The exclamation mark equals means not equal. So here if I'm saying, for example, is six not equal five? Well, that was true, that's right. Why? Because six was actually not equal five. So again, if we press shift enter, that will return back true. If I say, let's say, is five, let's say not equal five, and if I run that, that would tell me, well, that was false. Why? Because five is actually equal to five. It's, you know, when I ask if it's five not equal five, what well, actually this statement was false. All right, okay, sounds great. So let's go back here to the table. So again, equal, equal, that means if you're comparing two values, you know, like are they equal to each other or not? Exclamation mark equals, that means they are not equal, okay? Here, if you wanted to do greater than or less than, here you wanted to do if they are greater than, all right? That's less than, that's greater than or equal, and that's less than or equal. And that's very important comparison operators. We're gonna use them extensively throughout the course. And they're actually really, really interesting and really powerful too. All right, let's take a look at, you know, kind of a mini challenge. I'm gonna give you two examples and I'm gonna ask you to pause the video and please go ahead and try to do that challenge yourself without running the code, please. Because if you run the code, you know, it doesn't make sense. I want you to kind of practice and tell me if you, if you get the idea or not. Here I'm saying, okay, is 15 greater than, let's say six, and is 15 not equals to six? And if 15 is equals equals six, and if 15 is less than or equals to six, all right? Please go ahead and pause the video and just, you know, guess what the answer should be on all of these four conditions, all right? We're gonna see you after the challenge. All right, I hope you guys were able to figure out the challenge, again, without running the code. So here, 15, is 15 greater than six? Well, that was true, so the answer I'm expecting was actually true. Is 15 not equals to six? Well, that was actually true as well, right? So here, 15 was not equal to six, that was true. Is 15 equals to six? Well, that was false, that doesn't make sense. Is 15 less than or equal six? That was false as well. All right, let's make sure that our answers are true. So we're gonna go here to the cell, press shift enter, shift enter, shift enter, shift enter, and that's what we're getting. We're getting true, true, false, false. All right, looks great. Okay, and that's pretty much all what I have for the, for the first section. Let's go ahead and recap what we have done so far. So here we have just quickly covered what we call the comparison operators, which is, can be used to compare two variables together. If you're comparing you know, va values, you wanted to compare if they are equal, and please remember they are equal, equal, not equal, greater than or less than, greater than, less than, greater than or equal, or less than or equal. And again, the answer might be true or false depending on the condition. And one important thing as well regarding the strings, you need to make sure when you're comparing two strings together is that all the letters have to match. So if they are all of them are lowercase, here all of them have to be lowercase. If here all of them are lowercase, here one of them, for example, is just uppercase, then the answer is gonna be false right away. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that lecture and see you in the next lecture.